Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna to try this Dean's Down Home Sausage Biscuits with Egg and Cheese. It looks really good. Um, you get four sandwiches in the package. It is 17 ounces. That's for the whole thing. It's microwavable. Like I said, it looks pretty good. Um, we bought these at a local grocery store called Critchfield Meats. They might sell them at other places, but it's literally the only store in this area that sells this particular product is that local grocery store. So there you go. Um, yeah, these, these come frozen. You buy them in the frozen section, but um, I've put them out to thaw because uh, the directions um, include frozen and thawed, and I like these kind of sandwiches better thawed. 390 calories per sandwich. There's your other info for you if you like. So the directions, like I said, from refrigerated, I've left these in overnight to let them thaw out. So we're gonna remove the wrapper, wrap in a paper towel or napkin, microwave high for 45 seconds. If you do wanna do it from frozen, you're basically just gonna defrost it for two minutes and then um, cook it for 45 seconds like you left it out. Um, and it says, make sure you eat for, yeah, there it is. You can only refrigerate these for seven days. So if you do stick the whole box in like I did, eat, eat them all up before the seven days is up or it, will, it won't be any good. You wanna make sure you eat them before they, they expire. So here is the sandwich. This is the bottom, this is the top, or at least that's what it looks like. So you take it out of the wrapper, makes the noise. Yeah, you know what, I don't think I'm wrong. I think the cheese is on top. Go away, go away bag. So there's the bottom of the biscuit. There's your sausage patty, pretty decent sized sausage patty. And here's your little, your little oval of egg. Put that on there, and then your little piece of cheese right there. Now that cheese feels like Velveeta. If I had to guess, that's a Velveeta or some type of Velveeta-like product. And I know some people have commented saying they always take their cheese off, microwave it, and then put the cheese on and let it melt after it's heated up. I don't do that only because the directions don't say to do that. I try to follow the directions just like the box says. So if the box were to say, remove the cheese and put it on afterwards, I would do that. But I don't do it because the directions don't say to do that. That's So if you're, if you're wondering why I don't do that, that's why. Um, in my normal everyday life, I may do that if it bothered me, if it ran really bad. But if it doesn't, then I'm not worried about it. So I wrap this up, get it in the microwave, I'll be back. Okay, I unwrapped it. And this is what it, this is what it looked like. Um, the cheese is literally all turned to liquid. Like I said, in a, in a, in my, after the reviews are done, there's the cheese everywhere. Um, I would take the cheese off and put it on afterwards, but for the review, I do it just like they say. So, um, it looks good. It smells really good. It's just all the cheese turned into literally a liquid. Um, I'll try to flip that over because if you don't, the bottom, uh, bi biscuit part will get really soggy. So anyway, I'm going to take this over the table and give it a try. All right, I gave it a minute to cool up. I probably should have just done it for 40 seconds instead of 45. I think it would have been fine if I'd done it for 45. The cheese wouldn't have uh, uh, ran quite so much, but it is like a Velveeta cheese. Um, I did taste a little bit of it, and it, it tastes like Velveeta cheese, honestly. It's probably not the name brand Velveeta, but it's that kind of cheese, um, like a processed cheese. So I'm going to take a bite here. It's got the biscuit and the egg, and of course, they got cheese everywhere in the sausage right here. I like the textures, I'll talk about that first. Um, the biscuit, it's a little like, um, it's not rubbery like in hard to chew rubbery, but it is a little dense and thick. I mean, it's it's like you could almost, it feels like you could bounce it. It's almost like a, like a piece of foam or something. It's not tough to chew, it just kind of has that feel for it when you're touching it. Um, eating it, it's fine. It is a little dense and close, but it's not a bad texture at all. The sausage is a little, it's a little, Firm. It's a little tough. It's not, again, it's not rubbery or chewy or anything, but it is a little tough when you bite into it. Um, the egg is fine and the cheese, of course, is melted everywhere. It's almost like the sausage has been cooked and then dried out. So there's no oil left in there. There's no grease in there. Um, that's what it comes across as. So it, when I say it's kind of dry and tough, um, that's what I mean. It's kind of dense and dry. Not like completely dried out like leather, but it is drier than what you would think. The good thing is if you're eating it all together, you get that really um, wet cheese, melty cheese, 
And then you get the egg, which is also very soft. And then that goes with the biscuit and the, and the sausage. It goes pretty good together. I wish the flavor of the sausage was a little stronger. Even eating it by itself, you do get the sausage flavor, but it's not a really strong, like, seasoned sausage. Yeah, you taste it, but most of what you taste, honestly, it's the biscuit itself. And you get a little touch of the egg and a little touch of cheese. Um, I think the biscuit, the sausage itself, like I said, has a seasoning to it, but I think the flavor of the biscuit is so strong that it kind of overpowers the sausage. I tried this same one in just the sausage and biscuit, but it didn't have egg and cheese on it. And I thought the same thing at that one. The sausage really plays like, uh, in a second or third roll in the sandwich because it's really just not a very strong flavor. This is the same way. It's just not a strong flavor at all. Um, by itself, it's fine. With the biscuit, it's not. So I'm gonna give this one like a three and a half. It's, it's okay. I like the textures. I like the flavor, but to get any higher than three and a half, I'd have to give it, um, they'd have to have some more flavor in the, the sausage to really make it stand out. Maybe if it was a little thicker, and a little, um, had a little bit more fat content into it to where it was a little uh, more moist. Um, it might be better, but still three and a half out of five, it's above average. So hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.